So next we want to look at our overall view. So I'm going to go here and we're going to close out our expansion browser. And here we can see everything. As you can see here in the bottom on the left, we've got our control knobs right here, 1 through 16, as you see on your MPC Renaissance or your MPC Studio. Um, we've got some settings here, Q-Link. We've got the pads. I can select which pad group. I'm going to start to work with. I can say pad group A here. I can say that's A1. You see A1 up here here. We have tuning here for parameters and other parameters as well. And note change on or off. And we have real time. We have effects here too. I can apply effects. You can press that button there and we can apply effects to these knobs as well. And here in turn, this is just program. This is our pad section as you already know. We explain sequencer, and this is just for the Avenue program. This is the level for audio. This is the panning. This is the solo and mute right here, right? Great. So next, what we want to do is we want to talk more about this cursor. See my cursor change here? The cursor changed to a pencil, a red pencil right there, as you can see. Well, right here in the upper left-hand corner, right below this little like almost pad area right here, right? This is known as our MPC main mode. You go right here in the center, you see it says MPC main mode. That's what this whole interface in front of us is. And so right here in the main mode, that's the pencil, draw mode. I'll go to here, select mode. I'll click here, and now the cursor becomes a cursor, not a pencil anymore, right? But if I put it in front of a note or behind the note, I have the ability to extend that note. So I can extend it out as far as it lets me according to my correct quantized value, which is a time correct. You'll see it says time correct here. That's 16 notes, right? I can go and say to, let's go to 30 seconds. You see the grid change, right? Now I can pull it back. And now look at that. It confines to the grid area for 30 second notes. See that? I can also undo. This here is undo. This is redo. Undo, undo, undo. And I'm back to where I was at from the beginning. But it didn't undo the timing correct. Be aware of that. And that's just moving my cursor, using the cursor right there. Next we have select node. Hitting pads will select events. I hit that. And all these events in this one row have been selected by hitting that pad. So I can hit a pad. I'm going to select all the events in that sequence for that one pad. In this case, it's the closed hi-hat. We have a list. I can see a list of every note that we used. I can see the parameters for that note. I can see the notepad, the time the length of that note, its velocity setting. We can see the mod type and the value if there was if there was any here, right? But you can see it right here in front of you. This is a great way to sort of edit data real more accurately and just see its terms of notes. But we can always go back to just the grid.